Today, we're getting real personal. All right, I'm going to be talking a little bit about living in Funchal, my experience, and my journey, some of my favorite things. And in order to do that, we're starting off right here at Quinta Magnolia to do one of my favorite activities during the week. We're going to be playing some tennis, right? So it's a Saturday morning, it's a beautiful day. We haven't been allowed to play tennis for a good couple of months and I've really missed it. So I can't wait to get on the court. You stick around, this vlog is going to be pretty cool. When I'm preparing my shots, I'm always thinking about my positioning, I'm thinking about where the ball is, and I'm trying to get that real sweet contact with the ball. And sometimes I can actually see the faces of my haters in the ball, and that just lets me wind up the shot even more and just smash that ball out of the court. Hi guys, my name is Victor. I'm a tennis coach for 10 years, almost 10 years right now. Uh, we're here in Kitsa Magnolia because finally uh, everything started to open up a bit more. So I'm able to be here with uh, Jeff and Veronica for a lesson. Uh, yeah, my club is Ludens, you can see here on the, uh, uh, on the hat. Uh, I'm working with them for two years right now. Everything's going really, really, really cool. We have a bunch of students, we have we started with kids with three years and we have the, the oldest one is 70 so it's pretty cool to have all those different ages and experiences so it's, uh, it's quite nice. Jeff and Veronica is one of my favorite groups because they are super cool, we always have a bunch of fun uh, during practice, uh, always, always good laughs so the time passes really quickly. Uh, my favorite part uh, about Funchal is the, honestly is the weather. You always have good weather year, all year on. So you can be outside. I'm a tennis coach, so I really need the good weather to to be able to work. And you have that good weather uh, all year uh, all year on. And yeah, pretty cool. Finalmente jogaste bem. O importante é começar. Tchau, Talvez. Ei, ainda tenho uma bola aqui. E filma aí. Right, so this is Quinta Magnolia. This is one of our green spaces in Funchal. Thankfully, there's loads of green spaces everywhere, gardens, parks, all sorts of things. Local people, of course, are very active, you know, everyone's out and about. And one of my favorite things about Funchal, not only the weather, as Vito mentioned, but also the fact that we have so much time to be out and about, you know, there's less traffic than the big cities and things like that. So for people who like to stay fit or be creative, for instance, you save a lot of time where you're not in traffic and uh, you can really take in all the nature uh, in Madeira. The 
This is one of my favorite coffee shops in Funchal. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how you say the name, but I think it's uh, Maggie's. Maggie's. Um, it's about five minutes or less than five minutes to my house, to where I live. So usually on a Sunday morning, this is our Sunday morning tradition, we come out here, we walk here and we get an empanada. Right? An empanada, as you can see here, is a Venezuelan type of pie, right? It's kind of the way I can explain it. So we've got two meat, Venezuelan meat pies, and one is cheese and ham. Um, it's, as we know, there's a lot of uh, Venezuelan people living in uh, Madeira and in Funchal, and vice versa, just like the South African community as well. So it's great that all these places have different cultures and we're starting to see all the different cultures coming in to Funchal. So very much a multicultural city. But coming back from South Africa, what I love about this place is that I can walk to the bakery. It might be something stupid, but I feel really safe in Madeira and in Funchal and I can walk everywhere. And in fact, one of my favorite things to do in Madeira and Funchal uh, is to walk everywhere as much as I can. There's no one around, so I can take this off for a while. But anyway, this is the, the walk that I do whenever I need to go into Funchal. So I live just on the top of this hill over here, not right at the top, but just over there. And one of my favorite parts of the day is actually walking in to Funchal. So um, it's a bit loud, but uh, basically it's the time where I get to, to meditate a little bit in a way, you know, it gets me thinking. Very often I'm, I'm listening to podcasts and things like that. So um, probably one of my favorite parts of the day, walking into town. And in Funchal, unless you're living right up at the top, um, it's reasonably easy to walk into town. And you can walk everywhere, and get to everywhere. It's one of my favorite things about living in Funchal. So I don't want to show you where I live at the moment. I don't want to include any personal stuff in there, but I used to live in this apartment that I want to show you right now. So uh, without any further ado, let's go check out my old bachelor pad. I haven't been here in a while, a couple of years. Actually don't even know if I'll recognize it. Ah, it's pretty good. This is my old apartment, right? I used to live here uh, a couple of years. And uh, funny enough, uh, as famous as we are in Madeira, this apartment is probably just as famous on Airbnb. So this is Apartamento Blue Mar. Uh, it's in the Hotel do, do Mar, the old Hotel do Mar building, which is now called Apartamento do Mar. Somebody told me that it was actually the first hotel in Madeira to go bankrupt. Not sure if that's true, don't take my word on it, but that's the rumor. So it's a, nowadays a refurbished and um, nice little T0 studio apartment. Okay, so there's a double bed, there's the couch. I believe this might be a sleeper couch, but I'm not sure. I'll probably find out throughout the week. Uh, nice TV, kitchenette, everything you kind of need. It's in a great location. It's in the Lido uh, for most of you. Uh, if you know the Lido is basically the more touristic side of Funchal, the west of Funchal, where there's a nice long promenade going all the way into town, um, very close to loads of beaches, restaurants, bars, lots of stuff around here to explore. So my mother is uh, the host of this Airbnb, so when you book uh, this place, then you'll be in contact with her. Of course, she shares my enthusiasm for tourism as well, so she's always willing to help. And very often she's calling me uh, to ask me for recommendations and things like that for her clients. So you'll be well looked after. Uh, it's a very affordable place, great for a couple, especially an active couple that doesn't mind walking around and exploring the areas. There's a fantastic little pool, great view in the winter. You get the sunrises and you also get sunsets as well. Beautiful colors and you can see this uh, great little view 
uh, of the, the, the Lido coastline uh, down to Funchal. And yeah, I mean, this is it, you know, uh, haven't been here for a while actually. And it's a little bit nostalgic for me to be back in my old apartment, um, just thinking about how things have changed. And I'm just wondering where I'll be in the next 10 years, what will life be like in Funchal uh, in 10 years time. Finally, one of the best things about living in Funchal is of course living close to the ocean. Where I grew up in Johannesburg, there was no beach. To get anywhere near a beach, we had to drive for hundreds of kilometers. So the fact that I can now live right next to the beach, I can go to the water whenever I want, catch some sun whenever I want. The summers are really long, so the sun only sets at like 8.30, 9, even 9.30 and sometimes in, in August uh, on the western side. So it's really great living by the beach and uh, there was a time in my life when I used to swim every single day uh, with COVID, with uh, all sorts of situations, it's become a little bit more difficult to do so. And I actually did plan on having a swim today, but the weather is a little bit sketchy and it's still March, so it's still a little bit cold. But I have absolutely no doubt that sometime soon we'll be swimming and it'll be great. Right, so, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna, no, uh, blah. you're still filming, right? So, right, I got it. Today we're getting real personal. So, uh, what, what, how was I saying? Today we're getting Listen up, personal. dude. We're here at Quinta Magnolia. And no, that's coming later. You're really excited to to play tennis, aren't you? <laughs> I am about to do one of my favorite things, which is to play some tennis. I don't like it. Sorry. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about my favorite parts. No. Today we're talking. Ah, la, la, la. Let's go play some tennis, and we'll talk about uh, the cool things. Ah oh, man. Let's go. What is it take five or something? Huh? Take six. You can do it, man. I'm going to be talking a little bit about my journey to Madeira and some of my favorites. Bird, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. <clears throat> when I arrived back in Madeira, not back in Madeira, what's wrong with me? On the air. This is my first one of my favorite things in Madeira to do. And uh, that sucked. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sucked, dude. <laughs> Our stay is unforgettable. We're sorry for broken glass. Okay, <laughs> breaking glasses. We've had a most amazing time relaxing, walking, hiring a car. <laughs> no, we're not gonna say that. Going with Jeff, going with Jeff and his tour. No, I'm just kidding. There's gotta be one here somewhere with me in the in the tour, right? Eh? There's gotta be one here with Jeff. I'm gonna find it. I mean, it's my apartment, you know. There's gotta be a. The apartment's there. I can't even read this one. I had a scooter for two days. Very easy and cheap to do. Oh my god, I'm on the last page. I see nothing of Jeff. There's nothing of me in there. The next person who stays in this apartment has to go on a tour with me and has to write about me in the book. Nice little touch. Um, welcome to Blue Mar. We found another book. So there's definitely Jeff here somewhere. Hopefully. Muchas gracias y beso de Monica. Beso. Anyway, the only thing was wrong with the visit was too short. Ah. <laughs> Woo. Okay, that's good. There was amazing. Ah! Here we go one, go first one. Thanks for your recommending the Hit The Road Jeep Tour. It was a highlight and really got to explore the island. Ah, it's from my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> my number, I found my number. Sorry, mom, it's funny. <laughs> no, no, no Jeff yet. My Lord, I mean, for Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Yeah, hey, we got Netflix. Hey, but we got Netflix. Yeah. We cancelled our Netflix account. Ne Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it says hit the road tour, hit the road Jeep tours, hit the road Jeep tours in Madeira. Jeff and Tiago. That was a long time ago. Uh, and Terry Taxi, which still works with us. 
Nah, I'm so sad. I need a poncho now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you guys live in Funchal or if you wish you lived in Funchal, hit up a comment in the comment sections. Let us know what you're thinking, what's your favorite part of living in Funchal or living in Madeira. And um, remember, we're running a special all the way through 2021, 21% off all of our tours at hittheroadmadeira.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. We've got awesome, awesome stuff coming. So I'm really excited about some of the news I got this week. So stick around guys, it's gonna be real cool. Let's hit the road. <laughs>